Hey, 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 you guys, it is Clary Berry, and I'm here today to bring to you the Libra horoscope for the 8th through the, eh, really the 15th of November, 2021. So big things happening, guys. Dreams are blooming fast. Nurture them. Nurture them, guys. Emotions are running high. Oh, are they ever? Okay, so yeah, it's Scorpio season, so we know how those emotions can go. And we have the moon and Capricorn in your fourth house on the 8th and the 9th to start out the week here. Um, really, okay, we got to address some of this energy. Some of these emotions might be coming through strong, okay? We're really craving peace. We're craving, you know, of course, everything. We just, we want what we want, right? We, we sure do. You gotta nurture those dreams though. We can't just have them and let them go. Let them run wild. And same thing with the emotions. <laughs> so yeah, really, there's a new start maybe at home here and with kind of these emotions. I think there's a bigger, big, big, big start with you guys. Um, but yeah, getting to the root of the emotion, of course, looking at the um, relationship with yourself before you are, you know, making sure that your emotions are peaceful, past, present, and well, future. The best way we do that is by doing the inner work. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. That's in the playlist. Check out the inner healing playlist. But yeah, we're going to be feeling again, wanting that peace. This is the nurturing energy. Wanting again, the fourth house, of course, you know, we're, we're just going to be feeling emotional, sappy, nurturing. We just want to lay around and, you know, cuddle with our loved ones. And that's okay. It's, it's fulfilling. It's, it's a reboot and a reset. So yeah, very much nurturing, nurture yourself, self-love, take care of your home, all the things that you need to feel, you know, secure and warm and cozy, do those things on the 8th and the 9th. So the 10th and the 11th, we have the moon in Aquarius in your fifth house. Um, going to be definitely guys, moon in the fifth house is romantic, play, flirt, um, give love to receive love, you know, give compliments to receive compliments. And also just, it's like once you're opening up emotionally and being vulnerable with people, uh, that's when they, you know, or get to know you and have that deeper bond with you as well. Be able to go deeper, um, again, because it's Scorpio season and we're all going deeper. Okay, so don't be afraid to express yourself in your relationships and with, you know, with the people that you love. And don't worry, because again, I think these really, you know, you're feeling kind of stable enough to do that at this time. So might be feeling sexy, fun, and just able to shine and kind of in alignment as well here with your, with your emotions, you know, the give and take that you have there. Again, keep it light, keep it fun. You're good at that, right, Libra? So on the 12th and the 13th, um, we have the moon in, woo, yeah, we've been getting this with a lot of signs. Um, moon in Pisces in the sixth house. This is actually your health and fitness, you know, and your habits, but it also has to do with like giving and there's some like also food comes up there too for me here within this. This is, okay, so first of all, no binge eating, okay? Don't be emotionally eating at uh, this time. We're, we need to be focused on our health, but also not like completely obsessive. And if you're feeling like, oh no, I don't have enough, everything's not good enough, why am I, da, 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 then just remind yourself how far you have come, okay? Focus on creating the habits that you need. It's like where you wanna be, Look at yourself and say, what would that person who does, who is that person that I want to be, what are the little things they would have to do? What are the things they would have to believe about themselves? If you're carrying around negative beliefs and going over them in your mind all day, every day on tape, like we all do. I mean, they say that like 99% of our thoughts or 90 something percent of our thoughts are the same thoughts as yesterday. And largely they're negative. And it's hard to just change those with the level of mastery of the law of attraction that society, you know, has come to because it's incomplete. We need the holistic law of attraction. Check out the holistic law of attraction. Check out the shadow work, guys. It's the easiest way to change your life quickly. Flip the switch just like that. Turn the light on and you'll be having awakenings about yourself that are really going to help you get where you want to go. And everything. I mean, just like with people, with, with right now, this, you know, it's all about the relationships this week. 
um, and the health too. So we know you've got goals, but there's more than that. You know, and again, next week, your focus is going to be a little bit different. So it's going to help you in the future, whatever you're doing, whatever you're focusing on. So the 14th and the 15th, the moon in Aries in your seventh house, again, focusing on the, those people that are closest to you and how they affect you. Okay. Make sure that those people are bringing goodness and happiness to your life. And if they're not kick them to the curb, kick him to the curb tactfully, very, very tactfully. But this is all about being fair. And it's about being fair to yourself as well. Not overdoing it, not giving too much, not always people pleasing. Okay, there's a little bit of maybe uh, just trying to keep the peace people pleasing here energy. And then until until you're not, you know, until you snap. And, you know, we don't we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Okay, moon in the seventh house, we want to, you know, be polite. We want to be jovial and, you know, have the good light, you know, conversations. Um, but in Scorpio season, you know, it's like things can turn, things can turn a little bit more intense than we would want. Sometimes that's just fun. Sometimes it's just fun. But again, don't cheat yourself. Don't settle here for less. And yeah, I mean, if you I know you're going to be like wanting to be around people and have, you know, partners, but it's like, yeah, don't settle comes up big here. And again, it comes back to being fair with yourself and don't let any type of like addictions or loneliness or sadness, like don't act out of fear. Don't act out of loneliness. It's like be willing to learning to be happy by yourself, create that happiness yourself. And then you can have happiness with another person. You're not going to have enough happiness with another person until you're truly like happy with yourself. And that includes again, a full life of from, from thoughts to emotions, to actions, to habits in alignment, this reset, this reboot, again, kind of supporting yourself, especially at the beginning of the week, supporting yourself so that you can, you know, you can't, you can't fill anybody else's love cup up if yours is empty. And sometimes that's what happens. We give too much. We want to do too much. We pour it out and there's nothing left. Why didn't I leave myself any? Why do we always do that? Why do we self-sabotage? Why do we not pay attention to all of those signs? Why, 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 why? Well, the inner healing's there and it's necessary. Okay. It's not just about, you know, change. Yes. The 12th and the 13th, we're going to be again, kind of about our health and, you know, it could be having some regrets here, but again, it's not just like a matter of fixing your health. You've got to go within to fix the emotions that are helping you to have, you know, maybe possible issues with your health, but there's being, um, there's a denial. There's definitely some kind of denial going on within all of this, even though we've got this new beginning creative again, we're making a home, you know, we're making a house into a home energy here at the beginning of the week, very fresh, fun and flirty. But again, don't just make it all happy, 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 fun, 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 exciting, exciting, flirty, sexy without being real with, what's going on inside, what's going on emotionally, it's important. Okay. Shadow work, inner child healing. Check it out in the playlist. Thanks for being here. You can find me all over social media. Emotions are running high again. You know, this is sexy. This is flirty. This is fun. This is, you know, is this love is, is this new beginning? Is it love or is this just high emotions? Is it just attachment? Is it just codependency? Be very honest with yourself because the more, the deeper you can go now, it possibly could save you from the future. Stay on the even keel, even though, you know, again, it, it's almost a little bit of codependency coming through. And I don't just go around saying that it might not resonate for everyone here, but there's definitely like, don't cheat yourself again. Don't, um, don't look the other way. Don't be um, kind of distracted 
you know, by all of these feelings of romance and sensuality, of course, that we're having and, you know, deep emotional feelings um, coming through, possible healing as well coming through with this Scorpio stellium. So that's all for now. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.